ready to go home. About 800 Syrian women and children leave this Kurdish-run camp in northern Syria. Among them, the wives and children of suspected ISIL fighters. For many, the next stop is Raqqa, their hometown and what was effectively ISIL's capital city before its defeat. What we want is to be able to go back to our normal lives, the way things used to be. We want to live in peace. It's the first transfer of its kind organized by the Kurdish administration, part of an agreement to begin the release of displaced civilians from al Hol camp in Kasake province. They will be returned to their towns now that those areas have been cleared from explosives after the region was liberated by the Syrian Democratic Forces. The agreement was made between Syrian tribal sheikhs and the Kurdish administration during a meeting in early May. When Kurdish-led forces defeated ISIL fighters in the town of Bakhoz, scores of people were taken to al Hol camp. It quickly became overcrowded. Disease and malnutrition was widespread. It was built to hold up to 10,000 people, but at one point housed more than 70,000. I am flying with happiness to be able to go back to my town near the Euphrates Dam. Life is going to be very difficult, though. The UN estimates about 11,000 people in the camp are foreigners. Now other problems linger, including disagreements about how and where detained ISIL fighters should be prosecuted. Kurdish forces which control the camp have said they don't have the capacity or authority to prosecute them. Concerns have been raised that relatives of ISIL fighters may promote the group's ideology when they return home. Kurdish leaders say some will be monitored as they reintegrate into daily life. For now, these families are looking forward to restarting their lives in familiar territory. Katia Lopez Odoyan, Al Jazeera.